So uh, the old method of cutting cells uh, involved taking a glass uh, pipette and holding it over a flame and drawing the pipette out until you had a glass needle and then using that needle under a microscope and by hand isolating a single center and cutting it with this glass needle. So it required a lot of fine motor skills and a lot of patience in order to do this. So in the Tang lab we're developing uh, all kinds of uh, methods to make biology experiments faster, better, and do new experiments you couldn't do without um, our technology. So uh, as part of the CCC, we've developed a uh, microfluidic device that can cut single cells in half uh, 200 times faster than by hand. And we've also used it to um, cut different kinds of structures, such as uh, organoids, which are um, like small uh, kind of pseudo tissues that uh, represent the uh, biology uh, of that organ that they're trying to represent. And so we found that both cells and uh, tissues have a capacity to regenerate. So every cell in the body, in your body, um, and every cell in the world has the capacity to heal itself. And, but we chose a cell um, called Stentor Ceruleus, which has an extraordinary ability to heal itself. Um, if the cell is cut in half, each of the halves can repair themselves and then uh, regenerate all of the uh, missing organelles that it's lost um, within 24 hours. So we decided to study this organism um, because it's basically the best at single cell wound repair that we know of. So one strength that I think our lab brings to the CCC is we're able to study cellular behavior using fast cameras. So for Stentor, they have a hold fast that they extend out and they contract when they're confronted with um, a danger or threat. And with our fast cameras, we're able to capture that, study uh, how quickly they can contract, and also study different cellular behavior with their cilia beating, um, to study how they're eating as well. And this gives us insight into their health and wellness. So um, beyond the guillotine, we're microfluidics experts in need of problems. And the CCC has loads of problems to work on that are at, really at the cutting edge of biology. And with microfluidics, we think that gives us a really unique approach to study some of these problems from uh, you know, studying single yeast cells to um, you know, looking at uh, you know, using cells as bioreactors in a microfluidic uh, droplet system. And so personally, I'm really excited about what can we learn about how cells heal themselves um, just fundamentally, because I think that's going to be really important. Um, for example, there's different diseases that we know uh, single cell wound repair uh, is kind of like the thing that's causing the disease. For example, uh, muscular dystrophy is caused by a lack of a protein that's involved in the single cell wound repair process. So I'm also really excited about uh, the applications of what we learn about single cell wound repair in cancer biology. Uh, cancer cells have been shown to be wounded as they metastasize. And so there's a potential there to, uh, to prevent uh, single cell wound repair and thus prevent cancer from spreading throughout your body.